Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I can't believe it, but I am sharing with you guys number 20 in the one page wonder series that we started a while back. So I have been wanting to share this one, but decided to save it for number 20 because I think it's impressive and fun and so easy. Um, you can just mass make a whole bunch of ephemera. So um, this is an idea that I got from um, Joy Defee, and I will link her channel for you in the description. Um, she did a similar type of project, and this is my take on it. So um, what I wanted to do was um, have an easy way to make a bunch of embellishments, decorations, um, things that you can use in your journals, on your cards, in your pockets, whatever. So this uses one 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. This one is double sided. I ended up decorating mostly on the green side, but the orange side is cute too. And I did this kind of in fall, fall colors and pumpkins and things. Um, so the base again of all of these is one sheet of paper. And then of course the decorations um, use other paper stickers, those types of things. So I'm gonna give you all the measurements in the description so you don't have to worry about that, but we're also gonna make some together. Now, the intent of these is that when you're ready to use them, you'll be able to just tear off, look at that, the piece you wanna use. And, um, and if you need to, I guess you could add a little bit of, a little bit more ink on that torn edge, but there you go. Um, you could also, I think, use these, fold them up and stick them in a pocket and have kind of an interactive element. You could decorate both sides. You could use them maybe as a belly band um, or the larger ones you could use like as a pocket or these could be tuck spots. So all kinds of things that you can do with these. All right, so I'm going to set these aside. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. I think they're so cute. And again, I'm using 12 by 12 paper and I'm gonna give you the measurement, but honestly, you really could use any paper you want and just make strips, so. All right, so you're starting off with your 12 by 12 paper and it's easy cuts. The first thing you're gonna do is cut it in half so that you have um, two pieces that are six by 12. One of those you are going to cut in half again and it'll leave you with a three by six, or three by 12 inch strip. So set that one aside. The other three, I think it's this one. Yeah, three by 12 um, strip, you're gonna cut it in half. So now you're gonna have two that are one and a half by 12, all right? And then your other six by 12, you're gonna cut it on the six inch side at two inches and four inches. So now you have three two by 12 inch pieces, okay? All that'll be in the description for you. I hope you followed me, but it's really easy cutting, okay? Now all of these strips, we are gonna fold the same way. And you don't have to decide yet you know, which side you're decorating. You're just gonna get these folded. So you're gonna fold it in half. You don't have to score. It's pretty easy folding. You're gonna fold it in half. And then just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna ink in the score line or in the fold line. And then you're just gonna fold right up to that score line and right up to the score line. And so basically we're gonna have four pieces that are approximately um, the same size, which is um, three, six, nine, twelve, three inches each. So this one is the three by two inch size, okay? And then to decorate, I think it's easier to keep them together. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make different ways to do the corners. Um, in the original video, and I watched it a long time ago, but she had all kinds of fun, she put, Funchy, <laughs> oh my goodness, fancy punches, and um, did the corners in different ways. I'm using this chomper so it goes through all of my corners at once. Um, if yours isn't that heavy duty, just fold it in half um, 
or just do, you know, the, the end one layer. Um, you don't have to chomp them all off at one time like I did. So that's just using the half inch quarter round punch and we'll do um, a, different, a different one here in a second. But again, all of these um, come together the same way. And in fact, let me do one that's a different width. Um, you just fold it in half. And, and I guess if you wanted to score, you could, right? You could score it at three, six, nine inches and then fold. But I'm just going to fold right up to my, um, where I folded it at half mark. And again, right up to where I folded it in half. And now I have four equal sections. So the way I cut our strips, we're gonna have 24 pieces of, of ephemera when we're done. Isn't that exciting? And like I said, and it comes together quickly and it decorates pretty fast too. All right, I've got a chomper that has the scalloped corners. So then that gives it this kind of look, which is cute. So there's lots of different things you could do. You could even just angle them off if you wanted to. Um, and then let's do one that is this size. This is the one and a half. And this one, I think I'm going to use the stub um, corner punch. And again, I when I do mine, and I've made these several times, um, you can use any paper. I'm, I happen to be using the same paper for the video as I did the, um, the, the one to show you what we were making. Um, I found this way in the deep, dark pit of my stash. This is old Stampin' Up! designer series paper. Um, from some time in the early mid 2000s. Um, like I'm saying like 2005 maybe, something like that, 2008, um, just a guess. But I had two pieces left and I just thought they were good for fall and for the papers that I'm using. But anyway, you would go through, I cut it into um, one, two, three, four, five, six strips. So six times four is 24. If you want wider ones, you know, don't, don't cut it into such narrow strips and you may make fewer pieces, but if you want some ephemera, you know, that's larger, go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm going to give you the measurements for exactly how I'm doing it, but you certainly can adjust it and you can use, um, whatever you want. Um, to punch your corners. This was the stub that um, does this on the corner. And then when you do it here, it looks like a little half round, which is kind of cute. Okay, now a quick and easy way to decorate these if you kind of want them to, to coordinate, you don't have to, to do that. You could just use any scraps and papers and embellishments you want. But I really liked this idea Again, not my idea, but I liked this where, and I'm not gonna probably piece this paper back together the way it was, but um, where I just took a digital printable and after I cut the white trim off, I just then cut it into strips. So these are eight inches and obviously my designer paper's 12 inches wide, but it works out great just putting the, the paper um, in there and then adding other pieces, collaging almost on there. So I cut strips. So this one I cut two and three quarter inches wide, and again, it's eight inches long. But when I chop these up, they're gonna nestle right inside the squares nicely. So I did one at two and three quarters, and then I did a couple that are at one and three quarters. Um, I guess I did three of those for my two inch strips and then for my one and a half inch strips I did one and a quarter and um and now no matter how I end up decorating it they'll kind of have this um cohesive look again throw that idea out if you want yours to be all different you know you could grab other scraps laying on your desk 
and start laying things down. So you can use book page, you can use whatever. I'm gonna do this though because it kind of makes it into a mass make and it makes it super fast. So each of these strips needs to be two inches wide. And again, you, do, you could make one longer. <laughs> you could do two and a half and you could do one and a half, you know, however you wanna decorate yours. But I'm just doing each of mine two inches wide and I'm gonna cut a strip of each size because we're not gonna decorate all 24 of these on camera, but I'm gonna definitely do several to give you some ideas and get you started. So if you are new, welcome. Thanks for joining me, I'm glad you found me. If you are a returning subscriber, um, yay, thank you for being here again. I appreciate y'all's support. I hope that if you have a moment, um, you'll leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking about, what you think of the video, if you plan to make any, whatever else is on your mind. Um, I did a poll recently asking um, you guys what kind of crafts you're wanting to see next. You know, fall themed, Halloween themed, Christmas, can't decide. Overwhelmingly early is early voting, but overwhelmingly, I am hearing y'all want more fall themed crafts. So I did try to pick papers and things that go with that fall theme. But I have another, a few other fun ones up my sleeve that I'll be getting ready for everybody. So stay tuned. We still have quite a bit of fall crafting ahead of us. All right, I am going to use my Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. Soon it's gonna be time for a new sponge top. All right, we're going to start with the larger piece just because it's the one I happened to pick up. And I'm going to ink quickly around these edges. I can always go back later when I'm not on camera and ink a little more if I want to. But I definitely like having some of that brown ink on here as I'm decorating. And I just started inking this green side, so for this one, we'll definitely stay with the green, but I'll do some on the orange side, too. I like the green to um, kind of contrast with some of the orange in the digital paper that I picked. Okay, so we need the ones that are this size, and um, I used a different one on these. You can see the pumpkins are a little different, but isn't that cute? Now this digital, in case you're interested, I don't remember when, but this was a freebie sent out by Victoria Designs. She has a email newsletter you can sign up for and periodically gives you a sample page. Sometimes she gives like three that coordinate with, a, you know, that are in a kit that she has or coordinates with a kit. Um, this page I think came just by itself and it was probably in the last couple of years. I, it wasn't recent. Um, but if you like this kind of digital, um, that's where it came from. Victoria Designs on Etsy and she does, like I said, you can sign up for her newsletter and she gives you samples and it kind of helps, you know, do you like the color palette of a particular kit or do you like, you know, the style? So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to give yourself something different to craft with. All right, so then all I did was I put a piece, you know, a strip, a square on each, square's the right word, and then started deciding, you know, do I want a sticker? Do I want a number label? Do I want some book page? And I'm just gonna pull out one of my little boxes here, and I do have this pad of um, Tim Holtz, words. This one is, I don't know what the name of this one is. I don't know. But anyway, it has all different kinds of sayings. And so we may put a few words, we may write some words. Again, it's just what, what you feel like in the moment is fine. And I have some book page. Again, it's more of that geometry paper. Eventually, I'm going to be done with this. I'm going to hand tear a strip and then I'm just eyeballing about how tall I want it. And I'm gonna put a, a piece of book page on one of these and um, you could use things from a magazine, again scrapbook paper, book page, 
really anything you're in the mood to look at that you think would look cute with it. Kind of liked it having the book page layered on top. And then I have all kinds of little pieces here that we can choose from. I will say some of the label number labels and stuff I have are kind of large. Ooh, there's a butterfly. What color is that butterfly? Oh, that is not a fall butterfly. Um, so they're going to look better probably on this larger strip. The way I cut my paper, we're going to be doing some that are quite a bit more narrow. So, um, and one thing I didn't do on my prototype there is I didn't do much with, um, I didn't do any ribbon or anything like that, but adding different textures, ribbons, lace, that would be really pretty too. So this is sort of um, similar, I guess, like to a snippet, but not starting off with just scraps, starting off with strips and then kind of decorating them. So it's not surprising that I like this because I love projects that use all kinds of little pieces. And now I'm sitting here wondering if I'm on camera and if you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's a cute little flower there. So um, I could leave that and then you can always add something else later or add a sentiment. I'm going to probably pick one of my sticker words to use at least on a couple of these. And sometimes when I pull a project like this together for you guys, I go ahead and pick out even all the little bits and pieces I'm going to use to decorate with. But I did not do that this time. I think I want this maybe. So because that one kind of had a round a round edge to it. Maybe we'll use one of these faux stamps. Um, but I didn't do that this time. I decided to just wing it. I thought the original ones just turned out so cute. I couldn't stand it. And um, couldn't wait to show you guys what I was making. So I just decided to jump right in. Ugh. Okay. Very sweet. Um, let me, here, we'll put this one down and put that one on there. And I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with this one. This one has such pretty pumpkins right there. I don't want to cover those up. I definitely know that. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could, um, do the corners of these pieces maybe to match. Um, that might be cute. Lots of choices. Um, let's put, let's find a word. Um, how about a little bit of everything? That sounds good. Now, sometimes I'll ink around these. It's a little fiddly. And then what happens too is even though this is a sticker, you see I'm handling it. I'm getting my, my dirty little fingers on there. So I'm going to um, get ink all over me. I'm gonna add glue to the back. And then, um, I know that sticker's not going anywhere now. All right, let me grab my ribbon scraps. I also have some ribbon sitting here that we might be able to just use, but let's see what I've got in my little scraps. This green would be cute, wouldn't it? I wonder if I just tie a knot, if it'll be fun if it'll work. It's not long enough to tie a bow. Yeah. Scissors. This is that kind of chiffon material that is so um, wispy. Is wispy the right word? Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. I'm gonna put it just like that. So really, whatever your imagination comes up with, will be really cute for this. I'm gonna use a glue dot. Um, if you wanna see some of the um, supplies I'm using, 
<laughs> don't stick the glue dot to your finger like I did. If you want to see some of the supplies I'm using, um, I'll have those linked to my Amazon storefront. I don't get everything on Amazon, but the things that I do, like glue and ink and some of the papers and ribbons, um, you're, you're welcome to check that out. Now, like I said, we could keep going and we can make this wonderful um, or even more wonderful, but I'm going to set that one up here and we're going to do another one. Now, this is the one that I believe is the two, is it the two inch width? No, this is the one and a half inch width. So this is a one and a quarter inch strip. And it's got gourds, pumpkins, they're so sweet. Little flowers, very cute. Um, and I do wanna ink, I'm not gonna worry about inking around the edges of the strip right now. Um, because I can do that off camera, but I, again, like I said, I think it makes it pop. Ooh, I'm gonna flip this over and see if we like it with the orange side. What do y'all think? Ta-da! I think we can do that. I mean, it's a little bit brighter, but I may collage a little more underneath, we'll see. But I like having the bit of orange, pink it in there. And I love not having to commit yet if I'm gonna tear these apart or if I'm gonna use them as a strip in some way. So that's kind of fun too. Now, another thing is I kept out these little butterfly stickers and we may use a few of those too. All right, I am going to hand tear some more book page. And I'm just gonna do four little pieces. And I think I'm gonna put a piece on each one of these just to kind of give it some continuity and we'll see if we like it. Maybe just a piece there. And if we don't like it, I'll pick them up. Not that you guys can tell me. You can tell me in a comment, but obviously in real time, I'm gonna have to make a decision, aren't I? Okay, I think the big thing is to, now I get these upside down, <laughs> and it doesn't really matter which side I put them on, but I do find being able to work almost as a group, for some reason it just makes it come together nice and I can see if I'm liking how things are looking. So I am gonna use the little bit of the geometry book page on each one. So I'm just gonna randomly decide if I'm going to put it to the right or to the left. Just kind of make it look, again, junk journal style. Oh gosh. Um, I will also make sure um, I share with you guys soon. I'm working on some fall papers. That's one of the things I have in the works is a surprise. Um, I'm going to share that soon, and they might be fun um, to use for this project. So hopefully, I'm not sure what order I'm going to release all the videos in, but hopefully that will be coming soon and you guys can keep an eye out for it. And I'm making a really fun freebie to go with it. So yay. Leave me a comment and tell me if you guys like getting freebies. I know not everyone can print, so sometimes it Maybe <laughs> it's frustrating, but as a digital artist and creator, I'm, I don't even think of myself as a digital artist, but just as an artist and trying to um, support myself, that is something I can do and give away and hopefully y'all enjoy um, and I can um, make work on my end too. So let me know if you guys like those and want me to keep making them. I know, like I said, I'm using the ones from Victoria Designs and I also have bought a lot of her paper kits because I love her, her products. But um, it is a great way to try something out, see if you like the color palette. And just sometimes you just want something a little different, you know? Um, oh, how cute is that? So that's coming soon. All right.
there's a butterfly and maybe we'll do one more butterfly on this strip at the other end because that one looks like it needs a little something something and these are in kind of the yellows and oranges this one has a little bit of blue on it browns oh gosh I'm trying to pick one that I I mean I like all of them but I was trying to pick something a little different I think that one is a little different what do you guys think I'm gonna put it down here in the left corner and these are um as far as these kind of what I call grown-up stickers these are the they're not the washi tape they're the more plasticky clear but they peel off easier than other ones that I've had and of course it looks like they're from China because it looks like Chinese it says butterflies break flowers for flowers but fly with the wind um, I got them on Amazon definitely and I'm pretty sure I already have these linked in my shop if you can't find it let me know and I'll find the link for you if you're interested and I got the pack came with these but like I don't know five or six little packs but the butterflies are all different color palettes if that makes sense okay this is a piece of that sorry silk ribbon that was sewn it's the piece where they've kind of sewn the two ends together and I want to cut it apart. I should probably find my seam ripper. Um, because I would like to use both of these pieces separately. I ended up putting a hole in it. <laughs> but it'll be okay because I'm going to fold it over like that and like that. And we're just going to have a little teeny tiny piece. And it's going to be okay. And I'm going to use my stapler and not worry about it. Cute, right? Um, I don't know if I have any little tiny numbers. I think these are these circles are a little big for this size. But I'm gonna just cut that off. It's still a little bit large, so we'll cut both sides off. There we go. And it's not even completely even, and that's okay. The edges are curved because it used to be a circle, and I'm just gonna live with it. All right. So again, you can get super fancy with these. You could do just a couple of little layers and then finish them up when you're ready to use it. Um, it's really up to you. The sticker says, sweetly singing. And I think that's fun. So we're gonna put that down. I'm trying to think if there's anything um, else I really wanna show you guys with this one. Um, I said I just thought it was so fun and I love doing a project you know where you sit down and craft for 30 minutes an hour and then you have like a lot to show for it <laughs> and then you can put it in your stash and use and I'm going to be making a lot of fall journals and different things and so it's going to be fun to have these on hand now the last one that I prepped with you guys is this is um this should be one of the two inch strips, right? Yep, this is the two inch strip. So this is one and three quarter inches and they'll come together the exact same way. Um, oh, I did have another idea. So let me get these inked and, and down for you. So this is another thing that you could do that would go super quick, I believe. Um, and again, I'm probably going to make some of these where I don't use um, just the same paper all the way along because I think they would look, um, they would be fun to make just to have a variety around. I kind of like how some of the pumpkin or one of the gourds is chopped up there and it's showing almost like an inside slice. Like if you were going to make a pumpkin pie, you're getting it prepped. I don't know why I like that, but I do. All right, I'm going to just glue these down and not really think about what else is gonna go with them. I'm just gonna put them down. Um, I, I had also thought about, and I didn't get any out, but like I think just a piece of um, fabric, whether it has a pattern or maybe is even just a neutral, you know, linen color or something like that. That would be cute, almost as like a little ruffle underneath some of these. 
All right, so if we do that, now I'm gonna hope I can put my hand on what I was looking for. Yes, we're gonna use a couple of these stamps that mimic like a postage. It's got like a little postage and a flower and stuff on there. And I'm just gonna stay with my walnut stain so it's brown. My ink pad has enough ink. Let me stamp. Let me stamp somewhere else and let's see if we like how it looks. Wow, we're not getting much at all with this ink pad. We may have to go to a different ink pad. Um, all right. If not, I'll cover it up with a piece of paper. All right, so you barely can see that, but that's cute. It's a good idea. The idea is there. Let's see if I can grab one. Ah, that's a little bit darker. Okay. Oh, I should use a different one. And I should clean my ink stamps, but I'm not the best at that. Cleaning my rubber stamps. I used to really be into stamping up the paper, and I was religious about um, cleaning my stamps after every use. Um, yeah, and not so much anymore. I'm going to see if one of these would show up a little better. How about this postcard one? So... I still have quite a few stamps. I don't have as many. Recently, I did a, a video showing you guys ideas um, to kind of a junk journal style card for a birthday or thinking of you or something like that. And um, I pulled out some of my old stamps that I've had, but been doing as much stamping. Okay, I'm going to put this here because I don't want it to get on that part. Ah, look at that. That's cute. Okay, so I did, I did like those. And this is about as much as I've been doing cleaning stamps lately. It's just off. It's just kind of off stamping. So if you guys, if you're really into stamps and this is making you crazy, let me know and I and then I'll apologize. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is just a, supposed to be a like a stamp like that went through the mail. There we go. All right, so we got a little bit of ink on there. That one, the, that one's really not very, um, it's just very fine, the rubber stamp is, and so is this one, but these gave it a little more of that effect. So we'll put that away for now. Oh, goodness. And these, this set, I definitely got on Amazon, and so did these. So um, those are fun just to have an inexpensive and easy to use. So I think this one is definitely gonna look better with this orange, um, in my opinion, if I ink, ink around it. So now I've gotten, I did two actually with the orange side up. So the other ones I had really gone heavy on the green. Now I'm leaning towards the orange. All right, these I think still need a little bit more. Let me just dig in here and see if I have a few little labels or something that can help kick these up a notch and then we'll call it a day. Um, if you make some, um, send, you know, tag me or send me um, some pictures so I can see what you've made. I'd love to see if you guys liked this idea and um, what you ended up making. I'm gonna cover up a little bit of where I stamped that because you can't really see it anyway but you'll still see part of the bloom there but on the patterned part of the paper I think it's okay to have that covered up I wonder if this little bird would look cute hmm. I don't know I don't really like him there I'm gonna save him for something else special oh I did like this little flower though Let's see where I could put it Get another little circle going on somewhere. And I didn't put any book page on this one. And you know, I always think book page makes everything look a little better. So I'm gonna do a tiny piece that I add some distress ink to. And we're gonna just 
line it up here somewhere, maybe right there. Okay. I haven't added any words to this one. Let me pick a word out real quick. How about um, home? Fall and fall themed things, autumn, all that. I guess because I'm thinking, you know, we're getting near Thanksgiving. Um, and I think about family and home. So we'll do that. We'll put home on this one. Put it right there. All right. I'm going to call it done. We only did three of the five strips, but it isn't hard. And it is certainly something that, you know, I could see myself having a strip of these in front of me while I'm watching TV or pretending to watch TV and um, could really get them decorated very nicely. I think these are the ones we made together. And then these are the ones that I did ahead of time. And they do tear apart if you want to so easy because I did... Um, fold them and crease them back and forth really good. So you'll want to do that. But if you're worried, you could cut it or use, you know, a ruler or something before you tear it. All right. I hope you guys like it. Leave me a comment. Have a great day. Until next time. And I hope, um, I hope this did number 20 justice. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.